okay last time we discuss uh, how to open the antenna design and what is antenna design in MATLAB I just wait a second and okay in the antenna design windows open and this is the window uh, so we will start from new it takes some time uh, ok this is the the old antenna you can see this is uh, made that uh, yellow color is metal and this uh, this middle point is in red color is the feeder feeder connector and just accept this and we accept that antenna type and, and these are the antenna properties parameter and uh, length of the antenna is minus one plus one or total is this is the coordinate and this is the total height is 2 meter and width of this uh, metal is uh, not the metal this is the total not, uh, total uh, uh, dimension of the antenna is 0.1 uh, yes and the feed offset it's uh, already in the middle point and tilt is 0 and the tilt, tilt axis is 1 0 0 1 this is x y z coordinates that x is 1 y is 0 is a d 0 we will uh, check that by changing what's happening is the antenna dipole impedance and location and those things and let's uh, start from length and let's see what's happening by changing these parameters Let's uh, set to what and apply. Uh, you can see it's totally changed. This uh, this is uh, this hundred six hundred. This is a total one meter. The height of this uh, is set to one meter. Mm. As you can see. Let's change the length and see what's happening. It's already two and two means this from here to here one, from here to here one. This and dipole antenna is you know the consist of in two parts. This was one part and this one is another part. And let's change to three. And you can see it's uh, to totally is uh, three. This is 0 to 0 0.5, 0 to 1.5, 0 to 1.5, and 4. You can see, total so is 4. Total so height is 4. Mm, 5. Now you can see this. Uh, you can clearly see, let's change the axis. Now you can see this is uh, a door, this is axis, and this total height is 5, 0 to 2.5, 0 to 2.5. Let's change the direction or restore. Now it's restored, and you can um, uh, observe in over the different axis. This is the XY direction this is the metal part and let's change the other direction is uh, x is z and down to x is a y z this is the y z total is 5 and just uh, you can see there are um, uh, uh, properties you can change the float box rotate let's uh, restore when you change this the box also rotate 
और इस दो now it is uh, point two. Uh, this is point one point one point two total is point two and feed offset so the feed is the is for red color one and you can uh, uh, set the feed uh, to different points by changing this option and let's change to uh, meet a point five set to point five you can see it's set to 0.5 uh, 0.5 distance away from the middle point from 0 to 0.5 distance away and then to minus 0.5 you can put it in the opposite direction this is the 0.5 uh, let's set to 0 to the middle point and see the tilt angle Degree. Let's set to 30. Mm, this already set to 0. We will set to it to 30 degree. You can see this change the direction. This is the tilt angle. This is the angle from um, um, the horizontal. Sorry, uh, vertical. From the vertical, it's changed to 30 direction. 30 degree. And this is x, y, go to x, put this one, to can see clearly, it is set to 30 degrees from the uh, vertical axis. Let us say 290 degrees, so you can see it is set, set horizontal, there are 90 degrees from the vertical axis, and set to 0 now. Okay, then let's go to the tilt axis option, and you can see uh, there are three points within, within, the, within that matrix. That is uh, one zero zero. That means x uh, y is at coordinate x y is at axis. So we will check that with the method documentation. Uh, tilt axis. This one, this option, and you can see this. Uh, the, those three, three points are x and x y is at uh, axis. So let's see this one, x y is at axis, and this uh, we can use this both tilt angle with the uh, tilt axis. Uh, so it's easy to put like this and let's rotate this is the x axis and this is the y axis and this one is at one and let's rotate this uh, over the x axis normal default it's uh, rotating clockwise let's take a screenshot to compare it and this this is the uh, initial one and let's say 90 degree rotate and let's go to this straight to field axis this is the uh, after 90 degree rotation over the x axis this is the this is the uh, initial one and 
is the after rotating over uh, around the um, x-axis 90 degrees over the x-axis I think you can clear you, you are uh, I think it's clear for you and this is how to use the tilt axis option with the tilt and we will close it and then go to zero initial position and let's check with the y axis you can use different angles here so for example uh, let's apply now finish update you can see finish updating and let's check the stretch to exercise so you can see all the exercises at the, the single window and this uh, y axis this axis y axis and uh, let's take a screenshot of the initial position and this is the initial position over the y axis and let's rotate it uh, 90 degrees over the y axis let's apply you can see it's already rotated and check the position this is the initial one and this is the second uh, after rotating over the y axis and you can use different angles let's rotate it uh, so you see it's at the initial position the initial position let's rotate it uh, 60 degrees over the y axis this is the new rotation this is the initial one this is after rotation 60 degrees around the y axis you can see this y axis one y one is y axis mm. then go to initial position then let's study about the z axis uh, one and this is zero and so let's see the initial position around this axis this, this is the initial position then let's take a screenshot of the initial position and let's rotate it 90 degrees it's uh, it's a vertical rotation let's see and this one this rotator to over the vertical axis you can see to compare it with the previous one over the z axis rotate 90 degrees this is the rotation line this is the initial position and this is the rotated one I think you are, you are clear how to use those options then let's meet with new video with the next day